Hi, I'm Ollie Mitchell and in this QLab tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use mic cues. Now generally, if you have a sound system set up in your venue with a sound console, you'd be better off running your mics through that rather than sending them through QLab. However, there might be a few reasons why you would use mic cues within QLab. Maybe you only have two inputs into your sound system and you need to use a microphone. So you could plug that into your sound card instead and then route it through QLab. By doing this, you can also automate the mic in the same way as you do with any audio cue fading it in and out at the right time. Another option is that maybe you need to apply an effect to your microphone and you do not have any effects processors. If you route it through QLab, then you can apply all of the effects that are available to audio cues. It is worth noting though that when you send a microphone through QLab, there will be a slight delay. How big that delay is depends on a lot of things like your sound card and your computer, but you'll need to try it out and see if it's enough to matter or not. So adding a mic cue is very simple. But first we need to go into the settings and make sure everything's set up correctly. So go into settings using the cog and go to the mic tab and you'll see it's very similar to the audio page. So first make sure your sound card is selected in the mic patching section. You can't use the built in connections with mic cues, you need a sound card. Now in the audio matrix you need to tell it which inputs to route to which outputs. I only have one mic so I'm only interested in the first row and I would like to send it to the first two channels. In my setup, channel 1 is left and channel 2 is right. So if I only sent it to 1, then it would only come out of the left side of my theatre. So I put a 0 in this box and this box. This will send input 1 to output 1 and 2. Now I can close out of my settings page. Now it's as simple as dragging a mic cue in, and then in device and levels making sure that it's using the sound card, and then just execute the cue. As you can see, my microphone is now live. As I talk to you, you can see the levels raising and lowering. Now that you have your mic cue set up, you can do everything with it that you can do with an audio cue. Fading, starting and stopping, and audio effects will all work. That's the end of this tutorial on mic cues in QLab. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.